In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the crankshaft position sensor on your Chevy Silverado. This will be located under the starter on the passenger side bottom of the motor. Disclaimer, you will need a scan tool that has the ability to do a crankshaft relearn for this job. Let's get started. Using a 10 millimeter socket, loosen the negative terminal on the battery. Pull the cable off of the terminal, put it somewhere where it won't make contact. Under the car, looking up on the passenger side, we're going to be going after our starter. This is going to be hard to see, so we're going to reach up and we're going to disconnect a connector. We're going to remove a cable, and we're going to take out the two bolts for the starter, and then we're going to remove the starter. Pull the cover down for the connector, just slide it down the cable. Reach up. On the back side of the connector is going to be a push button. You're going to push on that and remove the connector and pull it out of the way. Right here is going to be our nut. Using a 13 millimeter socket or wrench, we're going to remove the nut for the power cable for the starter. Remove the cable. There should be a bolt on the side of the shield that goes into the starter. Our bolt is missing. Remove the two 13 millimeter bolts for the starter. Remove the two bolts and pull the starter out of the bell housing. Pull the starter down and out. We're going to remove the connector for the crankshaft position sensor. We're going to pull back on this white tab. It'll slide back and unlock the connector. Then we'll push on the tab and pull the connector straight back. Once you have the white tab unlocked, push on the white tab of the connector and that'll act as the push button for the connector. Pull straight back and remove it. We're going to get that out of the way. Using a 13 millimeter wrench or socket, remove the bolt for the crankshaft position sensor. Remove the bolt. We're going to wiggle the sensor back and forth slightly as we pull it straight out. Remove the sensor. Install the crankshaft position sensor up into place. Make sure the sensor is fully seated. Install the bolt. Snug the bolt down and torque it to 18 foot-pounds. If you can't get a torque wrench on it, do the best you can. Install the connector. Push until you hear a click. If you don't, give it a pull. Make sure it's locked on. And then close that white locking tab. Install the starter. get it installed into the bell housing and get the bolt started. Snug the bolts down, 
Torque the bolts to 37 foot-pounds. Install the battery cable onto the side of the starter. Get the nut started onto the stud. Torque it to 80 inch pounds. If you can't get a torque wrench on it, do the best you can. Install the connector. Push until you hear a click. If you don't hear a click, give it a pull. Make sure it's locked on. Slide the boot up over the connector. Install the bolt going to the starter through the heat shield. Again, ours is missing. Install the negative battery cable. Snug the terminal down. Give it a wiggle, make sure it doesn't move, and you're good to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.